2022 Alaska Recap where I'm going to highlight some of the fun things we did from September through November. Gray was determined to catch some salmon and I was determined to see the pretty areas of Alaska. The Aklutna tail race was close to home and Gray enjoyed fishing there because look how pretty it is. One weekend we drove a couple hours to Whittier, Alaska so that he could try fishing there. The birds in the sky kind of looked cool so I took a video. <laughs> While Gray was fishing, we saw a black bear, who luckily was not interested in us. He didn't catch anything, so a different weekend, we decided to take a trip to Valdez, Alaska. The drive there was so pretty. Then Gray did his fishing thing. Oh, hello. He was surrounded by sea lions and seagulls the whole time and ended up catching his limit of six salmon by 8.30 a.m. I was happy about this because instead of me hanging out in the hotel room or watching him fish all day, we had time to do a little bit more in the area. There we go. All right, Samantha, this time I'm not gonna stop the camera. So just stop watching now. Sorry, I deleted the rest of the clip and I did not watch past when I was told to watch. I have no idea what happens after this point, but I assume that the fish peacefully falls asleep and that there's no blood involved whatsoever. Yep, there you go. Woo! Ah, good, good shiny one. So after I woke up in my lovely hotel bed, we packed up the car for the day and Gray took me back to the spot where he had been fishing. You can leave if you want. You've got some pulse line. You go, go back to the car. I'll just be a minute. <laughs> it smells pretty bad. I could not handle the smell of the sea lions and the dead fish. I was also pregnant at the time, so as you can imagine, that made it a million times worse. We found a waffle. We did. We did find a waffle. Put <laughs> on the strap to go over the edge. I did not put it over the edge. You are giving me anxiety. <laughs> it smells like rotting fish down there because of all the rotting fish. But yeah. That's where I caught. It's just this shallow thing I think fish get stuck on on the, out, the uh, outdoor side. There's a lot of people fishing there now. Way more people than I saw when I was fishing there at high tide. All of this where they're standing didn't exist. We saw some cool waterfalls. Waffle. This one was called Horsetail Falls, and this one is called Bridal Veil Falls. Bridal Veil Falls. This is the railroad tunnel of 1906. Apparently, construction was cut short because of a gun battle and a feud. So that's pretty cool. Let's go in. Neat. It's a tunnel. It's kind of graffiti. It's dark and tunnely in there. Sweet. <laughs> what was most exciting to me was that we had the time to take a detour on the way home to go to Wrangell St. Elias National Park. Gray, why don't you give everybody an update on the trip so far? Okay, so we are on our way home from Valdez. We went there because there's fish, and I haven't really caught very many salmon this year, and I wanted a bunch of salmon so that all winter I could have some salmon. I was catching silvers or coho salmon uh, using a technique called snagging, which you might be able to tell if you know anything about it, you might well see what I was doing. So I cleaned them, packed them up, they're in the cooler. We saw a little of Valdez, got a little lunch, and now we're on our way to see just a little bit, a smidgen of Wrangell St. Elias National Park, which I think is the largest national park in the country. They keep saying it's bigger than X and Y combined, but they always fill that up with something else. Like, it's bigger yeah, than Yellowstone in Switzerland, or it's bigger than Vermont in New Hampshire. I don't know what's yeah. accurate, but... <laughs> it's, it's bigger. It's very large. It's bigger than multiple states. We're not going to be able to see much of it today. We don't have a ton of time, and there's not roads into most of the park. But we'll go into it a little bit. Hopefully we get our national parks map 
but the road just to there already is stunning and beautiful. It is mid-September right now, and these are the, the colors, colors, the fall colors that we're getting. a little trail that goes a little bit under the bridge. It's a neat bridge. Hey Samantha, sitting on a bridge. That's the bridge we were on. Now I'm below it. It didn't say no trespassing, so I think we're fine. <laughs> Gray decided to go climb on this bridge. I could not get myself up there. I tried a couple times and just couldn't do it, but it looked really cool and pretty scary. Ooh, that's, that's a little scary. Oh man. It's in the clouds and you can't really see it anymore and you wouldn't have been able to see it on the GoPro anyway so but it's a pretty view still all right so the visitor center is closed but we came by anyway just in case just the, in case the road's not even open and they have this thing <laughs> national park maps go get it <laughs> It is really big. They have a whole amphitheater and theater. This is closer to our house though, so we can come back here yeah, easily. We should. Yeah, we should come back. All right. You want to smell it? Here. Do it. 
This one's not as good. I give it like a seven out of ten. This is only like a five. Really? Oh, it's got a fox on it, so. <laughs> and a salmon. Sometimes they're really bad. Like sometimes they, they don't smell. I like all. to think they took this in one picture and this moose and fox were just being friends, but <laughs> Yeah, they probably are, obviously. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> but we were down in Valdez, which is over here off the map, and then we came up here and we went down to Chitina, which is near the park but not in the park, and then we went on the McCarthy Road here to about to the good is the Cuscalana Bridge. And you can go much further to Kinnicott, which is kind of the visitor center in the middle of the park, and is actually not too far from Mount Blackburn, although it's further from Mount Wrangell. It doesn't look like you can get any closer Mount to Mount Wrangell, Wrangell than we is got. The volcano that we saw. Yeah, it's this big shield volcano. It doesn't look like you can get any closer than that than we got. So yeah, this is the largest national park in the nation. Yeah, because the same size as Yellowstone National Park, Yosemite National Park, and Switzerland combined. It's it's <laughs> like they, those are the things they chose. Now we have to drive three hours to get home. Mm -hmm. It's 142 miles away. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now, bye. We plan to come back to see more of the park the next year, but unfortunately that never happened. So I'm really glad we got to see what we saw on this day. October came and so did the first snowfall. Then my brother and his wife visited. We went on a hike or two, then we drove down to Girdwood and stopped at some pretty sights along the way. Beluga Point is one of our favorite places to take pictures. Then we saw the brightest rainbow I have ever seen and stopped on the side of the road to take a picture. Then here's a picture of our Halloween costumes. It snowed some more and here's a little clip from Grace Swearing in Ceremony for the state of Alaska. Now we have a pretty snowy hike we did at the Eagle River Nature Center, a pretty snowy drive, and the ridiculous amount of food we made for Thanksgiving for two people. I was getting closer and closer to my due date, and it was starting to get really cold and snowy. One way we continued to get a little exercise was walking around Reflections Lake. One of my favorite things about Alaska during the snowy months was the trees. They were always covered in frost or snow, and it looked like a Christmas village in real life. It was so beautiful. One day, Gray brought his drone and was able to get this awesome footage. The bridge goes over the Kinnick River, and anytime we drove from our house to Anchorage, we had to drive along this. Another exciting thing about the fall was it was the first time we had ever seen the Northern Lights. The first time we saw them was from our plane window in early September when we were flying back from a wedding. Then one morning at 7 a.m. I woke up, looked outside, and saw them right over our house. We took a lot of pictures that day. We got a few other pictures of them at other times and we thought they were so cool, but it wasn't even the best we've seen. That didn't come until the winter and spring. So wait until those videos, I guess. And that's it for fall of 2022. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.